So what can $100 get in Africa's cheapest country, Rwanda? First of all, I don't know Africa's cheapest country. We're going to find out. This is a video from Stephen Duku. The link, of course, as always, is going to be in the description. You can watch the whole video without hearing me interrupt. This is a reaction video. My name is Kamga. I react on this channel and I'm going to be interrupting the video to give my comments. Sometimes it's going to be long and windy. Sometimes it's going to be just me laughing in the background. Either way, if you like the video and you want to go watch the full video, the link is right there. So let's get right into the video. What's up, guys? Welcome to Kigali. Welcome to Rwanda. So I'm actually on a transit mm -hmm. to Doha, Qatar. And what I want to do is put us on a challenge to try and minimize yeah. $100 in 24 hours. $100 in 24 hours. Okay. Maximize. I'm not being a stickler and a pick. I just, you know, I'm one of those people who corrects people's English. I need my English corrected and I like when people correct my English. So if I do that, it's not out of pettiness. It's just that I can hope it. <laughs> can we really do that? Are you a budget traveler? I am not a budget traveler at all. We're going to try to have as much fun as possible with a hundred dollars, all right? So if you want to visit here, this will give you an idea yeah, of how much things mm. are, if it's an expensive city or not. Go! <laughs> okay. This is cool. Hey, wait, 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 wait. These guys did all these things with a hundred dollars. Wait, they did all these things with a hundred dollars. That is... Anyway, we'll find out. We'll find out. Welcome to Rwanda, a country of a thousand hills and a country of a thousand opportunities. Traveling is not supposed to be expensive if you know where to go to and how to bargain. The one thing I like about Rwanda is the options it offers to travelers. For instance, if you want a 24,000. Hey, yo, 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 yo. It's. The production level of this video, I mean, I haven't checked out the other. This is actually my first, maybe the second video, a long time ago when I was doing, well, not that long, when I was doing reactions on the other channel, um, I think I've done one of his videos before he, or they, the team, grew the platform to what it is. And I think they have a lot of subscribers. And so this is, I like I like what I'm seeing so far. It's nice. It's $1,000 a night room in the gorilla's nest or a $60 a night apartment. If you want to go mountain hiking to see the endangered Super Park gorillas for $1,500 or visit what? the Guardian Village for free, you've got options. A lot of people ask me how I afford to travel. Well, I got two rules of thumb. First is travel during off-peak seasons and number two, try to live like a local and I guarantee you 100% it's going to be super cheap. And that is... That is some really good travel tips across not just country traveling but even within cities for example i live in the u.s and so there are places that tend to have a lot of people around certain cities for example summer is warmer so people tend to go to like i don't know everywhere but when it gets winter when it's winter and it's cold people don't like to go where it's too cold so you might want to visit a place there you would have to pay the price you know like the cold or the heat but um it's good. I'm not traveling during the off during the peak season. It's a good idea. Exactly what I'm going to be doing in 24 hours with my Kenyan friend Natalie. We will be commuting on local transportation instead of private taxis. We'll be eating at local restaurants instead of fine dining, all to bring our costs down to the barest minimum. Our first destination would be the Nyangdungu Wetlands Tourism Park. The park was once a swamp, but the government have been able to convert it into a national park for tourists. What was once a degraded wetland is now an education and recreation center where nature that is can thrive. Bikes are the fastest. That is wonderful. The cheapest way to move around Kigali. Have you been in a bike before? Um, I have. Yo, Titus, if you're watching this video, what do you think? Um, Titus is... Camera YouTuber who also makes content and I think his his second nationality is Rwanda. He's so always talking about Rwanda, all the cool things that he's doing there. So I'm curious to see what he would think about this and if he's been able to do some of these cool things before. Be honest, but a lot of time gone. So we have a lot of bikes here and they're not gonna take the money we have. Let me bring out my Kenyan <laughs> negotiating <laughs> skills. <laughs> this could also be a very great way for you to ex experience the city on a on a bike. This is risky. This is we risky. about 3,000 Rwandan francs, which is equivalent to $2,500 thereabout. I actually enjoyed that a lot, guys. It's like so quick and easy to get around the city. Yeah. This, boda boda. this is an exciting vlog. 
like there's movement, there's character, there's things happening. You, you can get sucked into it. Yes, I'm watching this now. I'm just imagining how cool it must have been for them and also just the filming part of it, you know? It, it just feels nice. It feels like it's getting good energy. They from say this. if you want to experience the city yeah. in the, the cheapest way possible, try to live like a local. Yeah. When you live like a local, you will have more fun. We would hire and ride scooters along the 10 kilometer lane within the national park. Basically, to rent a, a bicycle or like a scooter, which is like an electric scooter in here, yeah. you only pay like 2,500 in Rwandan francs. But that's not too bad, guys. That's actually cheap. There's a lot more you can do here, but since we had less time, we just wanted to ride the scooters through the garden and move on to the next adventure. <laughs> that was the thing too about this money thing is when you travel and you stay out of your home country for a while, or at least what my experience was when I went back to Cameroon was that things seemed cheap only because I kept converting to dollars in my head. I was like, oh, it's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. So we have a meal, for example, somewhere it's going to be like, I don't know, 30,000 francs. And I'll change it in my head. It's like, yeah, it's like, what, $70? If I think about it, so it's like, it's not that bad. Actually, 30,000 or 70 dollars. Fifty dollars is like a hundred thousand francs. So no, it's not seventy dollars. It's actually way less. <laughs> anyway, point is, if you know the math, put in the comment section. Don't laugh at me. Let's watch the video. Oh, such a good experience, you know. For just two dollars. For just two dollars, and it's taken how long? Like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. You can kill time. It's really nice. Do you think uh, Rwanda is affordable, or expensive? No, yeah, Rwanda is expensive. Very expensive. Oh. Yeah. So I'm making a video, and we're on a challenge to spend a hundred dollars and do the most fun that we can in 24 hours you think that's possible yeah very the second place we visited is called fazenda transportation here was about five thousand Rwandan francs right here there are a lot of things to do such as of them the uh, horse bike riding archery zipline quad bikes paintball we'll be doing only the zipline and archery okay let's yeah. go let's go let's go honestly first time ever first time ever and she's having such a good time some people will be screaming ah! For me, I mean, you guys know I've done way more scary like zip lines. Yes. The secret with this thing is when you release, still keep your hands straight. So, what I'm gonna do now. Ah! Hey! The guy's the bad boy. Hey. You don't know me, yeah? <laughs> don't know, you don't know. Nigerian <laughs> hunger is working, man. It's stronger than me, sir. She's shooting into the bush. No, it's going into the bush. Do you see? They have, the to, they have to climb up there to go and pick her arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yellow. That was good. Who got yellow? That, that's not yellow. It's yellow. Do you yellow. see how much fun they've had with like eight dollars already? Like this is just eight dollars. Like the counter here lets you know, you know, where where they are at with 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 what they are doing. So they've not even spent like eight dollars. It's like what eight times four, eight times five is like four thousand francs CFA. <laughs> It's not yellow. It's that's yellow. yellow. That's yellow. That's yellow. Yeah, she got. Mm. Ah. <laughs> she got it. She said flower. Right. Hold on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, see. <laughs> the level's yellow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right, right in there. So now we're going for this one. Hey, you're so competitive. <laughs> you just allow me a board. A board. All of that came with a price tag of 35,000 Rwandan francs for me and Natalie. After which, we decided okay. to check out the Kimorongo market just to experience what the local market here in Kigali looks Man, like. You know, I'm just thinking of the fact that he's holding his camera and filming and walking around and you know, I'm so comfortable. But it looks like somebody else is holding the camera here. So I don't know if it's the person who is doing the food. And look at this people behind just watching. I'm like, what is this? This is one of the things that I'm like, how do you film in public? I think nearly every content creator, eh, some people, have the issue of, okay, we can sit in the house, we can make our vlogs in the house and everything. But when you have to go outside, it becomes an issue. So <laughs> how did they do that, man? How did they just feel comfortable like that? Eh interact with locals. My name is Gorilla. Why is your name Gorilla? Mm, Ingaji. Ingaji. All right, so the reason we actually got to the market is so we, we get to experience, like we get to see how the local people like yeah. you know, shop, yeah. leave and stuff like it's that. It's actually so like you can get second-hand things, you can get fruits, you can get artifacts, there's like stuff to buy. This is like a typical enjoy. market in Cameroon. Enjoy, enjoy, like enjoy. enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so time for lunch. What's the cheapest thing I can have in your menu? Some the mineral cheapest. water. Get me some water. <laughs> Coca Cola. <laughs> What's the cheapest thing I can have in the menu? Mineral water. Yeah, get me some water. <laughs> <laughs> we spent uh, 
12,500, which is about $12 on this meal, which is not bad actually. Not too bad. Honestly, we have to eat, eh? Hey? You, like. you see, like, Twelve dollars. You think about it, like in in the U.S., you hardly find a meal that is less than fifteen dollars, and that's before taxes and maybe a tip. Anyway, that depends on where you're going. So if I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, it's twelve dollars, it's cheap, but it's not it's not cheap for someone in Cameroon or for someone in Rwanda, probably. Like relatively affordable, not that. Cheap. Next stop is to visit the art and craft market in the city center. Transportation fare here was about 2,000 Rwandan francs. It gets so cheap moving around Kigali. This is the perfect place to buy. Do you see Kenya how clean the bikes Rwanda are? It gets so cheap. Like, that's one thing I noticed. I, I was paying, I, I didn't realize I was, I was noticing. It's like, the people are clean. I don't know if you've seen bikes in Cameroon. And, bruh, those people don't care. You have to go somewhere. You, you, you climb and you go. They don't. Maybe I'm just fooled because of the way the camera is or what, but they, they look pretty decent. Like, look, the look at the roads. Look at the roads. Look how clean the bike is, really. It gets so cheap moving around Kigali. This is the perfect place to buy souvenirs for friends or something right. special for yourself. How much is this? Yo, I give you 3000 for this. So we I take two, 6000 yeah, Of course, it's going to increase 5000 huh? All right. The, what is the cheapest thing here in your store I can buy as well? Those stuff you were buying. These are the cheapest thing. Yeah, so anything yeah. outside of this is expensive. More than this one. Expensive. Is it expensive here? The problem is the people who doesn't have money. No. So if someone like me, I don't have money. I can't enjoy. Yeah, of course. How can you enjoy your life without money? <laughs> Everything <laughs> requires money. Everything requires money. Pay to pay to pay nothing for. <laughs> so somebody. I think this guy is just taking advantage of the fact that there's a camera and all this crew, and I was like, yeah, this guy already has money, so. Wants to come to yeah, Rwanda. it's business, right? You do what you have to do. How much would you say the person should come with to have a good time? Uh, almost 10 million Rwanda francs. <laughs> <laughs> and he's keeping a straight face. If you want to come here, you need 10,000 10 million. That's, that's not true, guys. Yeah, this is nice. But I don't have more needs now. I prefer to pick this color. She wants to pick this color yeah. for 15. Which is going to be 30,000 yeah. and 30 dollars there about. It's going to eat into the budget we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Anybody that wins, we buy let's for that person and then the other one just... Let's go. Let's yeah. do it. I'm ready. Okay, let's don't go. don't like this color, like rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. <laughs> okay. What are they doing? Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. going to buy it. Oh, that go sucks. Next, next time you come to Rwanda, you can buy it. <laughs> Man, that's unfortunate, guys. Because <laughs> I feel like I'd rock it more, but it's nah, okay. Nah, nah. Funny how I just learned how to play this game like some minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you see the beating? Hey, 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 hey. It's a nice kimono. <laughs> 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 You're checking okay. it out. <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> okay, can we keep... The Mbunga City Walk. This is a no car zone. You can find the popular Kigali logo here, so you can stop and take pictures if you want. So far, out of the things we've done, would you f would you say it's affordable to you know be a tourist here in Kigali, especially? Um, it's fairly. It's mo it's not too pricey. Yeah. Like outrageous, but it's also not cheap. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are called Bura Light. So how does it work? So basically, there's an application you download. And the yeah. moment you download, you put it on the app. There's a code over there that already will give you a code, then you you scan it and then you board it. How much does it cost? Like 20, 20 cents. 20 cents? Really? That's like Yo, 200 that's very per cheap. hour. Unfortunately, we couldn't ride the Gura ride because they were closed for the day. But this is oh, something wow. you can try out if you find yourself in this part of Kigali and want to explore the city while working out at the same time. <laughs> you have enough money for me to buy. You it. have just the $100 and you're in a. How much, how much is that? <laughs> Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. Sixty dollars. <laughs> Let's. Wait. Sixty thousand. So. One runner franc is. One hundred. In this shop, this shop doesn't belong. Sorry, one dollar is one hundred. The next place I visited is the Genocide Memorial Museum and I think this is a must do for everyone looking to visit Rwanda. As you know, in 1994, there was a genocide here in Rwanda against the Tutsis and as a result of that, at least a million people lost their lives here. It's a tragic incident that happened but some way, somehow, they've been able to reserve and preserve some of these museums to tell this story so people 
learn about what happened. It's like yeah, a mix of emotions. It's like very somber. You don't want to read, but you feel like you have to read because of respect. I think it's good to educate and like honor them, but it's it's tough. I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not okay. It's, yeah. it's a lot. So you're gonna find like areas like this where you have like the graveyards where some people were they were buried. This place mm. is like home to some of the people that lost their loved ones. They always come here to drop flowers. You can see some of these flowers they're like they're fresh. The irony that we're here for such an inspiring, powerful event being held in a nation that has seen some of the darkest times and yet mm. this hope and inspiration radiates all over. I think like the world can learn so much from this. Rwanda is definitely an example of like healing and forgiveness and and rebuilding. You can go into the museum, yeah. you're going to see so many things. I really don't want to show it because the last time I did, my video was demonetized for showing that because when you go in there, there are like a lot of graphic image, blood, dead bodies. So I don't want to show you guys. It's sad, but also nice. You should just come and learn about really what happened. It's a free activity you can do while you're in Rwanda. If you want. Yeah, they say history repeats itself if we're not able to remember it, right? If we don't get told the stories of how we got to where we got to or what happened in the past and the things that people did. It's, it's important to know the tough things. And personally, I don't know much about, I mean, I say much, like I know enough to know that it was terrible and a lot of people died and yeah, there's a movie, but the actual history and the actual museum would probably be better than that. Or people who actually lived through it because 1994 is not that far off. You know, it's not that I'm sure that people who are alive now who witness this, you know, so yeah. If you want to drop a donation, you can support. In less than an hour, you're done with the whole tour. The sun was quickly setting and I was told that's a perfect place to watch the sun set with panoramic views of the entire city of Rwanda. It's called Eagle View. The sun has already set, so all we are left with is just the, the views. I think Eagle people view. here here just most of the people coming here just for views is the first and then maybe food. Wow. You said you had experienced something here before. Yeah, when I came here the last time it was literally a proposal. Imagine. Oh my god. Now I can imagine mm. how that looks. Like I you know. have like a very nice setup right a setup here. here actually with like had roses. Like a flowers yeah. Around and carpet. this view. I'm not sure if the sun <laughs> sets here. They also have a restaurant here. You can have a cup of coffee like we did for 7,000 Rwandan francs. You can also have dinner here as well. But because we really wanted to keep our costs low and also get to experience the local street food here and the nightlife as well, we decided to visit the most buzzing area after sundown in Kigali to squander the remaining cash squander. and have some delicious <laughs> food. To squander the rinker. I'm just imagining somebody watching this who has not food all day. It's like, what? You just wanted to finish the money at all costs. How dare you? <laughs> So a lot of people come in here to get like most mostly street food that is chapati, tea, coffee, chapati. food, and the stuff here is very affordable. Yeah. Woo! Guinness soup! Chicken pula! <laughs> like for oh, 10 people, my gosh. For 10 people. So we eat and we call others. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come and look at this. Yummy! <laughs> my mouth is watering. <laughs> Woo! I offer my, my sacrifice. <laughs> Yeah. If you're in Kigali, around this time of the night, mm -hmm. you should come right here. Yeah. There's a lot of things to eat and a lot of people. The only thing missing out here is music. And vibes. Woo! Yeah. What people is dancing. vibes? <laughs> Everything we had here cost under 12,000 Rwandan francs, which is stupid cheap. After doing all of these activities, having the best time of our lives, feeding ourselves to the fullest, we spent about 109,000 Rwandan francs, which is about $90.08 thereabout, with $10 change. I know you might be wondering how we're able to find and book all of these activities in Rwanda. Just there so I let go. you know, I have a travel guide I made in Rwanda. It shows the best hey. restaurants in town, activities to do, and where there to do activities. You want to get a car, product placement, where to hire them. You know, it is basically going to show you, you how to it. plan yourself a solid itinerary right here in Rwanda without spending thousands of dollars hiring a local travel agency to do that for you. All right. So if you want to download the travel guide, look at the description section of this video. Rwanda as a travel destination offers more. The country is home to the last remaining mountain silver park. He reminds me of uh, Frank for some reason. Just his, his energy and his vibe. He's a friend. He's also a YouTuber. This guy, Steven, just reminds me of him. You can add that hike to your itinerary. Also, you can visit the Nyungwe Forest where you get to walk on this suspending canopy bridge. 
Still in Nyungwe, you can also visit this waterfall. But all of these activities cost a little bit more. You have to know that. I think we're not like going to like very expensive places. Yeah. We're going to normal places where normal local people eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to, I mean, I think that's what traveling is all about. Yeah, like mean, when you get to experience the local people, yeah, you speak to them. Yeah, the city, get into the heart of the city, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that was really nice. So, I mean, we got, we got to live like locals. Right? Yep. Uh, which is very interesting. So this month the end of the video. Uh, but just to give you an idea, it's Kigali is very expensive. It's, it's mid-expensive. It's, it's mid-expensive. Yeah. It just depends on your lifestyle and yeah, how you want to move around. Yeah, yeah. Normally I know you're not going to use the, the, the bikes, right? I mean, not really. Cars, Car, but, uh, cars, yeah, yeah. For me, I like it. It's nice. Yeah, that was a video, man. It was a pretty interesting video. Uh, I don't think I've had anything to learn about Kigali. Yes, just travel. So I usually like to watch like informative history type videos. So it was it was it was good. Rwanda, Kigali, you know. So I'll probably have to do another one at some point. But hey, let me know what you think. Go watch the video. The link is going to be in the description. You can go watch and, and follow Stephen and see his other adventures. You might find some more fun stuff there for you. As for me, um, that was it. This is Kamga Reacts. You're watching one of the reactions. Feel free to send me links to any videos you want me to react to. And let me know in the comment section what you thought about this one. All right. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye and stay blessed. God loves you.